Ready, I'll be recording. So. Okay. Hello, my name is Landon. I'm Helena. And I'm Azula. And this is our presentation on the adversary effects on atrazine on different vertebrates. <laughs> so, atrazine is a pesticide sold by a giant company called Syngenta, and it is used as a weed killer. However, there are some adverse effects to how this chemical is used and when it's exposed to different types of vertebrates and organisms where it tends to sort of reverse sexual organs back to whether it's like pre-fertile or it is to female organs, especially in male white African club frogs. So a research done by Tyrone Hayes with a paper titled The Atrazine Induces Complete Feminization and Chemical Castration in Male African Clawed Frogs. His entire study revolves around the effects of atrazine and field workers that the effects of atrazine has on field workers and especially frogs. Well, that's how it started off. He found that these amphibians were starting to, male amphibians were starting to experience sexual ovaries popping out of their own testes and he was confused by this. So he took it into his own hands to account for um, the effects of atrazine in different types of vertebrates. So he did a study on farmers and found that farmers that work really close with atrazine, sold by Syngenta in their little test facilities, have higher chances and rates of cancer, especially testicular and prostate cancer. So you might be thinking, why should we care about this? Does it affect us? It absolutely does. Humans have the same response to atrazine as animals in terms of cancer. And atrazine can cause prostate mammary immune failure, prostate cancer, mammary cancer, immune failure, abortion, and neural damage. Women who drink water contaminated with atrazine are more likely to develop breast cancer. And there's an 8.4 fold increase in prostate cancer in men who bag atrazine in factories. Men who consume atrazine have low fertility rates and even may become infertile. So controversy first arose when Tyron Hayes brought the findings of his atrazine studies to Syngenta, which, like Landon said, is one of the largest atrazine uh, distributors. Um, the negative reactions that they had towards um, his findings inspired him to leave the company. Um, and he claimed afterwards that Syngenta was actually not only like bugging his labs, but they began to search for any information to like destroy or ruin his reputation and credibility. And they were even attending his lectures to ask misleading questions, which also inspired Hayes to start speaking in code words to his um, students and stuff like that, which he passed down to his students afterwards. I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Nice.